Hey guys, welcome back to the RK Motors Showcase Spotlight. Let's roll the intro. What's up guys, Josh here, RK Motors uniquely stylish content guru. And our spotlight feature for the day is this 1958 Cadillac Eldorado. But first, today's trivia question. What Cadillac concept kicked off the brand's current art and science design theme? Eldorado, the gilded one, the golden one, also mythical lost city of gold. That's what General Motors decided to call the first Cadillac they ever produced with a model name. So around 1952, Cadillac was looking for a model to celebrate their golden anniversary, 50th anniversary. And they did an internal name competition and Eldorado was chosen as a model they produced for 1953. So this 58 Eldorado, in order to tell you about it, I'm gonna to have to tell you about the origins of the Eldorado. 1953, General Motors was looking for something to celebrate their design leadership. So they decided to give a few different divisions unique bodied cars that were hand finished. One of them being the 53 Cadillac Eldorado, the other two being the legendary 53 Buick Skylark and the 53 Oldsmobile 98 Fiesta. And of course, we can't talk about legendary GM design without talking about Harley Earl, the first head of GM design. Of course, as you all know, pro well, as history buffs know, Harley Earl began contract work for General Motors, eventually became the leader of their art and color department, which would eventually become GM Design. Earl was specifically tied to Cadillac because the first car he designed for General Motors was a 40s LaSalle, which was, of course, Cadillac's companion brand. So when the Eldorado was officially introduced, it was introduced in two forms, the Eldorado Bia Ritz, which is this, the convertible version, and the Eldorado Seville. Of course, some of you who are GM folks will know that Eldorado and Seville kind of shared a relationship all the way up until 2002 when the Eldorado was phased out, and the Seville being phased out in 2004. This Eldorado is one of 815 Biarritzes produced for the 1958 model year. Uh, the original Eldorado introduced many design aspects that proliferated through GM's divisions and through the industry as a whole. Uh, of course, you have a torpedo style bumper often referred to as Dagmars. Probably the most important was the panoramic windshield. And then you have what a lot of people like to call the Earl dip. Harley, Harley Earl especially liked this design theme here where it kind of dips right before the quarter. And if you Google the 53 Eldorado, you'll see it's, it's much more prominent on that car. So the Eldorado historically was either the most expensive or close to the most expensive model in the Cadillac lineup. Uh, this, the 50s, this was an era when Cadillac was trying to get back to their standard of the world uh, motif, you know, back in the 30s and 40s when they did true coach built cars and produced V12s and V16s. Uh, so really, I can't talk about this car without talking about the Cadillac broom or Bruin, as they say in Europe, you know, like coupe, coupe, but here in America, we just call it the broom. That was the hardtop version of the Eldorado, produced for 57 and 58. Uh, if you remember back to last week's video with the Riviera, we talked about how GM pioneered pillarless hardtops. Well, this was an excellent example. Uh, the broom was the top of the line Cadillac of the time. Uh, it introduced a lot of innovations. 
The Cadillac has quite the history of introducing innovations for the industry and innovations that proliferate through General Motors. Night Vision, currently Super Cruise, Ultra Cruise, it's coming next year. Some of the innovations and cool stylistic elements include a brushed stainless roof, which was really cool. Uh, coach doors on the rear, it was a four door. Basically that means suicide doors to us hot rodders that locked at speed. Memory functions for the interior. Uh, America's first four-link rear suspension and the industry's first air leveling suspension. Um, it didn't last too long, but it proliferated through General Motors. Uh, we actually sold a cool Survivor 59 Impala a couple years ago that still had the air level uh, emblem on the back, even though the air suspension had been taken out. So the Eldorado broom was a, it was a hand-finished body by Fleetwood, uh, which is, you know, Fleetwood got absorbed by Fisher Body and Fisher Body got absorbed by General Motors. All the beer eats is, uh, were Fisher Bodies, like this car. And uh, this is pretty much the pinnacle of classic Americana. In its day, this car would have sold for about $75,000. That's 2022 money. The broom would have sold for about $135,000. And, you know, this was an era where Rolls Royces were selling for 10K and Cadillacs of the day were selling for 13K. Uh, the point being, these are solid classics, and even though the broom is a little bit more rare than the Beer Eats, the Beer Eats is the collectible everybody wants, because you really just can't beat 50s Americana convertibles. So the relevance of this car today is kind of twofold, as Cadillac pushes higher into pricing territory again with their newly introduced Escalade V, it's $120,000, and the forthcoming Celestique Electric, which is gonna be a coach-built battery-operated car. Uh, and also, it's about the size of an Escalade, realistically. Uh, this is a frame-up restoration with PPG Desert Gold paint. Uh, the car has a lot of options. Options on the outside include the fog lamps, an ivory power-operated top, and the power deck lid. And of course, this deck lid is pretty neat. One little aspect of it is the 58 exclusive placement of the V and the Eldorado. Uh, fun fact. The V was the inspiration on these cars and older Cadillacs, was the inspiration for Cadillac's V-Series performance sedans. Let's take a look under the hood. As you can tell, uh, this is exactly how it would have been uh, from the factory. 365 cubic inches of Cadillac V8, first gen Cadillac V8, it's produced for about 10 years. Uh, it's basically a bigger bore 331. Um, this car does have the tri-power induction, so three two-barrel carburetors. Uh, good for about 335 horsepower. It's a lot of metal to move, but it's a good cruiser. Let's take a look in the lap of 50s luxury, shall we? First up, vermilion red Cape Buffalo leather interior. It's very comfortable. Uh, of course, this car was loaded with options. So you have the standard power windows, but the cool feature is optional power vent windows, uh, power driver's seat, uh, optional air conditioning, optional Ultronic Eye headlight control. So what happens is headlights uh, enter this little lens right here um, and the car will automatically dim the lights for you and automatically turn the brights back on once it doesn't sense lighting. Uh, it, you know, it's kind of in the vein of Cadillac introducing new tech. 1953 is when they debuted this. And an optional signal seeking AM radio. So in short, what that means is the radio will look for audio or listen for audio uh, instead of dead air or static and settle on the channel you can hear. And of course that comes with foot control and the power antenna. Let's take a look under the car. Pretty standard fare for a classic 50s GM car. Uh, you have your cross frame. Of course, the aforementioned four link suspension. Uh, this car did come standard with power steering, but the four wheel power drums are optional. Got a high dramatic drive, four speed automatic transmission right here. Uh, it's another GM innovation. The first automatic transmission was 48 Oldsmobile, a GM's other innovation division besides Cadillac. 
As you can tell, it is a frame up restoration, uh, but it's still super nice, uh, really solid, nice old car. And then of course, on the outside, we have these super rare saber spoke Cadillac wheels. These were cast alloy wheels, optional chrome on these. Uh, they're very hard to find these days, very hard to restore because it's already a chrome to stick to cast and alloy uh, and traditional white wall tires. That about sums up this 58 Cadillac. Uh, you can find it at rkmotors.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, tell us an answer to the trivia in the comments and let us know what you guys would like to see. Thank you.